Manager Eddie Thomas then working the usual of course with Colin Jones. So right at the start then, reach advantage there for Hans Henrik Palm, nearly a six footer, unusual for a world weight. And Jones has got to get his punches away early to stamp his authority in this fight. He seems to be the stronger puncher, his record proves it, but he needs to be on target because he's only had a round and a 45 seconds in the last year. And was laid low by appendicitis and he should have been fighting this fellow for the bacon championship. But Tom then won it against a Frenchman, a so-so Frenchman. And this is the first fight abroad for Jones as a professional. And it's good to see Jones flicking some punches from the start, just making Palm aware that he's there, as they say, rather than taking stock. Good puncher to the body, Jones. Look out for that. <laughs> oh, well, that one uh, really did miss by a mile. Nearly put the lights out. <laughs> Palm, very useful boxer. 41 fights, lost only two. But he's a bit short of distance, Palm. The left hand's not too accurate yet. It's dropping short in the opening round. They really are taking a bit of stop, these two. There's no doubt about that. It's a second right-hander that got away. You can't afford too many of those. trying to be telling us that he's been using a left hook to the body that he thinks Jones is vulnerable. So we're watching some videotapes of Jones in action and he said, I think that's going to be my best shot. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Got to worry about Jones's left hook meanwhile. Yeah. It really looks to sort themselves out opening round. Eight stop. Scheduled for 12 rounds of European, not 15 as you have in World Championship fights. There you go, you see, they're the, they're the hooks that Palm promised to use to the body, but to do that, he's got to drop his hands, and that's a good chance for Jones to left hook to the chin. Both boxes in view for you, and Jones listening intently to Eddie Thomas and Palm to Ball Crow. Adam, round two. Second round, then, and very even opening round. The champion Palm does fancy himself as a smart boxer. He's a crisp hitter, but he's not known really in the trade as a destructive puncher. In fact, he's only stopped 18 of 42, 41 fights. And they're using British made six ounce gloves. Originally, the promoter tried to use the eight ounce gloves, but at this weight, they're entitled to use six. And that should be to Jones's advantage with extra punching power. He can jab a bit too, the Welshman with the left hand. Remember, he was twice amateur champion. So at the moment, it's by the left. It really is a battle of wits at this stage, isn't it? Tactics trying to sort each other out, one to lure the other into a mistake.
Jones certainly needed that opening three minutes to get some distance. Having been only uh, the one fight against a Fijian at Wembley, which was easy for him, and he knocked the fellow out with a good punch to the body. But to reach Palm is not easy. switches those punches to the body well he thinks probably that he's taken one or two of Jones's best shots or he may be in for a bit of a surprise because he really hasn't landed his best yet and he certainly landed it there he peeled that left hook so well and Palm at that point was a little bit overconfident and paid the price the Dutch referee counting I thought almost out there wasn't it he's only just but now this is where some world class has got to come in for Colin Jones. Easily to get a punch for two in round two. And Palm trying to fight back through a punch that was low. And then the legs buckled away there. And it really looks all over so early in the second round. And the Welshman's got it all his way. Oh, those punches are ripping into the body now. World class coming in from Jones. No doubt about it, he's justifying the world number five by winning the European Championship. It's so one-sided, the Dutch referee has stopped it. And a great win for Colin Jones, and took his time in the opening round, and I'll have a look at this fellow. One mistake by Hans Henrik Palm, and the left hook, and it was all over from there. So in replay now, let's have a look at that. Palm at this point was just about fancying his luck. And there it is. He unleashed it. It's the hardest punch in the book to stop. And Jones landed perfectly. Well, Palm all embarrassed about being knocked out. Stopped officially, but I mean, he really was ruined in that second round. And behaving very sportsmanlike, I must say that. Always nice to see a bit of sportsmanship after taking a punch like that and Joan saying, 